This installation is called the Crown Jewels. It represents, it's a collection of eight cast silver sculptures, miniatures, that represent buildings from across the world that are buildings, um, in the artist's words, of surveillance, military authority, military repression, um, and in some cases even torture. So the, these buildings, for example, are a Cuban building um, called Villa Marista. There is also the Guantanamo Naval Base in Cuba that the United States operates. Some of the other buildings are um, the Pentagon, the KGB, the East German Stasi, the stadium in Santiago, Chile, that was the site of uh, repressions after the 1973 coup, and also a building in Argentina that was key during the dirty war in Argentina during the 60s and 70s. But what I wanted to talk about these works is a little bit about their relationship to the internet and to the way that information is available to us on the internet. Carlos constructed these pieces by downloading information from the internet in Cuba. It's not, I don't think, very well known that, or perhaps it is very well known, that the access to the internet in Cuba is very, very limited. Only about 6% of the people in Cuba have access to the internet, and then it's very closely monitored and censored. A little bit like China. So when Carlos went to do these pieces, one of the pieces he chose, there are actually two pieces that he chose from Cuba. This one right here is called Villa Marista. And so he's provided labels with these pieces as well. So the pieces really are the sculptures, which he has constructed from images that he's found on the internet, um, making them part fiction and part real, and also an explanatory label. So when we come to this piece called Villa Marista, um, the label merely says that it is an agency or a building of the counterintelligence um, in Cuba. But what it really is, is a very notorious prison for dissidents. So it's interesting that on the label, there's nothing about that. It merely states in one sentence the origin of the building and to what agency it belongs to. You go to the internet here in Florida, here in the United States, and you download, there's all kinds of horrendous testimonials about what happens there. On the other hand, the next piece is, uh, depicts Guantanamo Naval Base in Cuba, and the rhetoric on the label about this piece is very inflammatory, talking about the torture, the methods, the suppression, it's part in the war on terror. It is a very anti-American piece of rhetoric. So it's an interesting kind of window, I think, into how the internet operates in Cuba, what kind of information is there, how it's manipulated. But I think he's also making a larger point because he does have these other sites, such as the Pentagon or the KGB or the Stasi in East Germany, and you have to ask yourself, although we may think that we can download a lot of access, a lot of information about these works, we're really not getting a lot. We're basically also getting what information is allowed to us. So I think he wanted to make this greater point about information and the internet and what's available to us, what's censored, what's not censored, in more of a universal sense just than, than just in a sense about Cuba.